Hey guys, this is a tutorial on how to change your brakes on a Honda Civic. So you will need the following tools. Next, what you'll need to do is loosen the bolts prior to jacking the car off the ground. Then lift the car off the ground, take the bolts off, and remove the wheel. After you've removed the wheel, you should see two bolts that are 12 millimeters behind the caliper. Now, these are the two 12 millimeter bolts. What you need to do is remove the bottom one only. You don't even have to touch the top one at all. So all you do is just loosen the bottom one, take it off, and slide the caliper up. So when you grab the caliper, simply just slide it up. Hold the little rubber piece that's kind of attached to the, the bracket there just to make sure it doesn't come off when you're taking off the caliper and then place the caliper somewhere safe where it won't fall otherwise you may cause damage to your brake lines then what you need to do is take the brake pads out they simply just slide out if you are changing your uh, rotors what you'll need to do is take two bolts that are 17 mil behind the little bracket there um, they are located right in the picture I'm about to show you so right there, you need to take those two off to remove the bracket. Once you remove those, the bracket simply just comes off. Very easy. Then you need to undo these two bolts. If they don't come off, just spray a little WD-40 and just wait a few minutes. Um, if, you have, if the rotor doesn't come off, just put a screw in one of these holes to kind of help it push itself off if it's seized or if it's stuck. Uh, make sure that you have the right bolt so it doesn't uh, doesn't wear it down make sure it's the right size so it fits perfectly in there then what you'll need to do is just put the bracket back in tighten it but don't over tighten it just make sure it's tight enough to hold it then what you need to do is clean the sliders I usually use brake clean but I ran out of brake clean you can also use degreaser that's what I was using here so just put a little bit of degreaser on your rag and just clean off all the gunk and all the stuff that's stuck to the sliders it makes it it makes the brake pads slide a lot easier when they're clean. Um, also, you want to lube the edges where the slide where the brake pads fit in the sliders. It just makes it a lot easier. And if you can see, that's the old brake pad, so it was a lot. I think it was worn down quite a bit compared to the new one. And then you want to put some lube in the center because this is the inside one. The reason you the way you know that is you see that little tab on the left side of my hand. That little tab is the part that actually tells you when your brakes are uh, faded or not when you're faded when your brakes are out so basically when your brakes are running low that will rub on the rotor and cause the noise to tell you that your brakes are low um, so what you want to do is put it in the center because that's where the piston is and simply just slide the pad inside make sure it fits snugly and then the other one you want to put it on the two sides because that's where the other side of the caliper holds it. And this one, if you notice, there is no tab like the other one. The other one, the inside pad only is the only one with the tab on a Honda Civic. Then you want to slide this one back in too. All right. And then you want to grab your caliper, grab your old brake pad, not your new one, because you will cause some damage to it. Now what you want to do is put the brake tool there and put the outer side of the pad in to push the piston back in. And, well, actually, you can either do it either way. It doesn't matter. I like to do it this way. Um, then, see if you notice, it does damage the pad quite a bit. So don't use your new ones. And make sure the rubber is properly, it goes in properly, um, so it doesn't stick out and rub on your brake pads. Then you want to lube this guy and just slide it back in. Make sure the rubber goes back in properly get it sealed off so you don't get dirt inside there then simply just put the caliper down make sure it fits snugly and if it doesn't go all the way there that little bolt just push it back in it's kind of on a spring just push it in a little bit and that will make it slide all the way in put your bolt back on and tighten it tighten it enough but don't over tighten it I'm pretty sure there is torque specs you are supposed to follow but I normally just tighten it hand tight and I double check everything. I don't over tighten things, otherwise they break. And that's it. 
what you need to do next is just put your wheel back on. Don't over tighten the wheels again either. And that's it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment or ask me any questions if I didn't make anything clear enough. Uh, if you guys don't understand something, same thing, comment below. I'll answer your questions within a couple days when I notice the comments are there. And if you guys like the video and want to see more on how to do it yourself, just subscribe to our channel.